Do you quit? I was false a rash. In this video, we're going to look at the Irish word do. I'm going to explain what it means. I'm going to share some grammar tips about this word. And we're also going to look at all the prepositions that originate from do. So let's get on with it. So the Irish word do just means to or for someone or something. If it's just do on its own, that's all it means because the end of the sentence will usually specify what exactly it is that we're talking about. So what exactly is to you or to him or to her? For example, tour on lower de voira. Give the book to Mary. Tour on lower de voira. So it literally means give the book. So tour is give and then on lower is the book. And then do means to. And we don't have to be specific here in this particular sentence because the last word is voira. So we know who it's being given to. We don't have to specify it's a him or a her. So it's just the voira to Mary. Give the book to Mary. Now, a quick grammar tip. Do changes to the apostrophe if the next word starts with a vowel. So, for example, tour on lower to Anya. Give the book to Anne. Tour on lower to Anya. This is done to make it easier to say and to keep the speech pattern smooth. It's also good to be aware of these words here, which are all part of the do family. Don means to de. So don is basically do plus on coming together to form the word don. It's better to say this rather than saying do on. Again, it means a smoother speech pattern by using don instead of do on. So don means to de, but it's in terms of a singular person or a singular thing. Now, if we look at do na, that means to de, as in plural or more than one person or thing. Do na. So do na is used when you were referring to multiple people or things, and don is used when you are referring to a single person or a thing. Let's look at some example sentences now. Look at these words here. Dalta is a student and Dalti is students. So Dalti is the plural of Dalta. So we would say Don Dalta, that's to the student, um, singular, or Do na Dalti means to the or for the students, plural. One is singular, one is plural. Dalta is the singular and Dalti is the plural. Isse on ten dinner don job a. He's the only man for the job. Isse on ten dinner don job a. So if we look at that, we can see Isse on ten dinner. That means he is the only person. Literally, that's what it means. Or the one person. Don job a. So that means for the job. Um, Don is used here because it's referring to a singular thing. And that singular thing is the job that's available. Isse on ten dinner don job a. Hug Aurani Koilul Kyolherm Dunashandini. The famous singer put on a concert for the old people. So hug is the past tense of tour, means to give. So the famous singer Aurani Koilul is well known or famous singer. The famous singer gave or put on, let's say, a Kyolherm is a concert. Um Do Nashandini. So that means for the old people, do na is referring to more than one people. And because the old people are obviously a group of people, that's why we use do na instead of don here. Hug aurani koilul kyolherm donashandini. We're going to look at the prepositions now. But first of all, we have to be very, very clear on the personal pronouns. So let's go down through them now. You can see them here. I'll go down through them briefly. Me, tu, she, she, shing, shiv, and shid. They are the basic um, personal pronouns to refer to various people, whether it's me, you, him, her, we, you, as in plural, more than one. I, I'd say ye there. And they. So it's very important we get that right first. Because then we can move on to the following here that you'll see in the red writing. Do plus me, that equals dumb. Do plus two equals dit. 
So you wouldn't say something is the two because again, it wouldn't be a good um, flow of conversation. It wouldn't sound right. It would sound a bit cumbersome. And that's why we have the prepositions here to help make the language easier to say and easier to understand. So essentially, if you see the word dumb here, that is like in English, to me or for me. It's exactly the same. And dit is the same in English as saying to you or for you. In English, you'd have two words for it. In Irish, you just have one word. That's essentially what it means here. Let's go down to them. Um, so, do plus me, as I said, is dumb. Do plus tu turns into dit. Do plus she turns into do, refers to him, to or for him. Do and she then transfers into de, that's to or for her. Then we have doing, div, and doive for we, ye, and they. So once again, dum, dit, do, de, doing, div, and doive. Two verbs that you'll often find associated with the are the following. Inish and tour. Inish is to tell and tour is to give. So inish dumb, for example, is tell me. Literally means tell to me. Tour dumb then is give me or give to me, literally. So the very often is associated with these two verbs as they are very, very, very compatible. And let's see how now by looking at some sample sentences. Inish doing ma ahreen do hiola. Tell us or let us know of any change in your address. So inish doing there. Inish, as I said, is tell. And then doing is the preposition for us, um, a group of us, let's say. Ma ahreen. So ma basically means if. And ahreen is the present tense of um, ahrig to change. So if there's a change and then do yola to your address. So do there um, on its own doesn't discriminate. It doesn't point and say, oh, it's me or it's you or it's him. It just leaves it open, let's say. So the last word then in the sentence yola will reveal what the sentence is about and will reveal the key information there. So we don't have to use dum or dit or do there because the sentence just makes it easier by having yola at the end. Inish doing ma ahrien do hiola. Let us know or tell us of any change to your address. Hug Sean Barog de August Dinish she do kadahorla. So hug is the past tense of tour. It means gave. So hug Sean Barog de. Sean gave a hug to her or Sean hugged her. So hug Sean, Sean gave. Barog is a hug. And then de is the preposition for her, female, de. August dinish she do, and she told him, so dinish she, she told to him, or she told him. Dinish there, you'll see, is the past tense of the Irish verb inish. So dinish she, she told. Uh, do there is the preposition for him. So we know then that we're referring to Sean here. And the last three um, words there, kadaharla means what happened. So um, Sean gave her a hug and she told him what happened. Hug Sean barog de agus dinis si do kadaharla. Dinis si an jaskel do hian. She told the good news to Sean. So dinis si, she told. Again, dinis is the past tense of inish. An jaskel, that's the good news, an jaskel. And then do hian means to Sean. So we're not specifying whether it's a him or a her there. We just need the word do because Hyon at the end is specifying who the good news is um, being given to. Dinish she on Jaskale do Hyon. Hog sheed kyad doive immert. They let them play or they gave them permission to play. Hog sheed kyad doive immert. So hog sheed means they gave. Um, hug sheed. Again, hug is the past tense of tour. Kyad doiv. That means permission to them or permission for them. Because remember, the whole do thing can mean to or for. So there is that little bit of flexibility there. So they gave permission to them or for them. And then immert is to play. Egg immert is playing. So by simply dropping the egg here, um, it becomes to play instead of playing because very often when you drop the egg in Irish you can just make another word out of it so as I said egg immert 
is playing so we just get rid of that egg there and then immert means to play so they gave permission to them to play toshe gamatit that means it is good for you toshe gamatit so gamatit is the key phrase there good for you or even good to you as well as i said there is that bit of flexibility there todroch skele a gum dit i have bad news for you todroch skele a gum dit so todroch skele that means it's the present tense first of all because ta refers to the present tense droch the first half of that word there droch means bad skele refers to news or a story so it means i have bad news the gum there is a preposition that so refers to something being on you or at you so ta droch skele a gum is literally saying the bad news is on me or at me and then the last word then is dit so you have two prepositions consecutively there a gum and dit the dit refers to to you or for you so it's like saying the bad news is at me but it's on the way to you i have bad news for you ta droch skele a gum dit vi ana trua a ke doiv her heart went out to them or she had great pity for them vi ana trua a ke doiv so vi ana trua that means like she had huge sympathy or her heart was breaking um a ke means the sympathy or the sorrow was on her so that's what a ke is in relation to a ke is the preposition for on her uh, and then doiv then it's like it's like it's going from her to them so doiv is to them so her heart was breaking for them or she had great pity for them vi ana tru a ke doiv if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful don't forget to give it a like and if you would like to support me you can do so by patreon um, links will be in the description and the first pinned comment and thank you to all my supporters and thank you in advance if you're going to be a supporter. So I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks for watching. Slán gafol.